In the previous video, we made an alignment between a set of uniprot sequences and the sequences extracted from two kinases that were read from the PDB. We then selected them and made an alignment. So once you have an alignment, you can edit the alignment by uh, selecting a region of the of the alignment and you can use the cursor keys to shift regions. You can also color the alignment. Click on the uh, button here and you get a panel here. So for example we can color the alignment by consensus strength or conservation. Let's color it by conservation. So all the, all the residues that are fully conserved are highlighted in dark green. Semi-conserved are, are yellow and non-conserved are pink. So we can color that uh, the sequence, the, the structure by this by the alignment and we can see where the conservation is in the protein structure. So we have two protein structures here, two PHK and one QR6 and they've been superimposed. So we can color by alignment by going to display and the displayed in ribbon. We can click and hold on the ribbon button and choose color by alignment. And here you can see that the dark green regions are, and yellow regions are propagated onto the structure. Just done display the So as I showed in the previous video, everything is linked. So if you wanted to find uh, where this conserved region was in the in the alignment, you select it in the 3D, and you can see it's propagated here. So there's a number of different colouring options. You can also in the alignment you can also display the sequence profile here. You can change the title of the alignment, display the title, and you can display the ruler for numbering, and also the uh, the, uh, the tree as well. So you can display that on the left-hand side and the sequences on the right-hand side. In the next video, we'll show how you can use these tools to to find the conservation directly in the ligand binding pocket.